Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome back to Farthest Frontier once again in our little town here, Einholm, as it is called, of course, close to the mountains. We're just about to finish more houses. So the fifth house is just coming online. This one is also now active. And as we can see, those people spread out a bit more. So there's only two moving into one of these houses, hopefully also with the right age right so they can make some babies for us because there would be room for babies now and this house here is also coming up and with that we should see then the first immigrants as well that we definitely want to have in our village also over here we are continuing building our storehouse our saw pit and our fishing shack going to take a while still as it requires a lot of logs and these logs right now need to tediously be chopped down from the forest close by so there's a bit more um, forest area there are a few more trees that we can chop down and the cool thing is that is something I really like about this game when you chop down trees right other trees appear again as little saplings or so and they just grow then into a big tree again so you know there's always some reforestation happening automatically I'm also in the process of finding more blueberries that we can then add to our blueberry farm this is pretty important as that is a massive boost for our um, food supply as it's just very easy to get right and it's just growing back over time again here so this is something that we want to grow a bit into something bigger than perhaps also add a nice fence around it or whatnot this one here still as we can see three more logs so there is already the logs coming over and there is all the resources now and this one can be built as well and with that we have six houses now in our village and this should then enable some proper immigration um, let's make this block here finish then I think so we can continue with the road then of course um, and here I would then probably like to have my first market or whatnot and we'll just see what we can then squeeze in very good also my smokehouse but of course the smokehouse is consuming firewood so we will now constantly need to produce firewood and that constantly or consumes logs again that need to be transported over there so we are we're going to be out of logs for for a long time one village was born Luthark hello there and three new settlers joined us attracted by the growing prosperity of your town to increase the rate of immigration and ensure you have supply of food and housing available and where's the new one Luthark he's the first baby that we have and he's age one now living in this home there he is Luthark so those two actually made a baby Rollers and Verona. Very good. We are growing now on two fronts with the immigration that's also going to help us out there a bit. That means more workers now. They actually joined already. Yep, they just moved in and they are now going to chop down some trees again, hopefully, to speed up our building process. It's autumn, early autumn. We can see this immediately on the trees. Beautiful. As we continue now here with our industry. Oh, and more people would like to join. Six more people have arrived. Let's accept them. Problem with then it's Oh no, actually there's no problem. They all have their a house. We have 24 as a maximum capacity available. So they all uh, can be squeezed in. That was a massive expansion here right now, right? So we doubled our population within a few minutes. Really good stuff there. So those people are coming in handily now for all the additional logs that we need to chop down. And this will speed up construction. Let's continue also here with that one. And this hunter is not finding any game. There's also no deer deers here anymore. So the only thing that he does actually is laying out traps. There is still some more deer over there, right? So go for it. There might also be wild animals than some other wild animals here but we'll just see speaking about that we should do some exploration uh let's go over there and just find us out something about these areas and more people would like to join a bustling market would help generate gold and attract new settlers to our growing town markets stock houses and generate gold with the sales now we don't have the market yet the market does need a saw pit and a storehouse. Both of them are in construction. There's not going to be any more immigration until those two are being built and the market. There's the storehouse. Very important building. This one stores now everything that is not basically raw materials like logs and stone. Stuff like that, right? So here we got the stone, the bricks then, gold ore. So ore in general that we have then here. And this one stores everything else that is above it. So some processed items then already 
And this also makes the storage card now obsolete. So this one really has done its job. We cannot delete it, however, right? So I do need to keep it. And it's just going to idly sit around there. Oh, there's also a predator attacking my villager up here, a wolf. Do we have a villager close by? Because I do need to help him. Not a lot of people close by. Only... Oh, there's three people, actually. Let's attack the wolf with those three people. Oh, God. Please don't. It's chasing down. She might die. Problem is the wolf will not let go. Other villagers are coming for our help now. Attack! There you go. Very nice. We saved Lottie. 48. Okay. Yeah. She's very low on health now. We do. We, we should have some herbs though. Yep, we have. The 34, so she's getting healed then again. The saw pit only needs one more lock. This is exciting because this will unlock more buildings then for us. And we can also have a look at my town hall when we can upgrade this one. When we have 8 shelters, a market and 30 people. Right, so with the people, we are already there, almost. I just need a few more homes then. Ah, very good. And there's also now my saw pit. Two people are working on that right away. I think we don't need that many. I think I'm going to, to uh, pull it down to one, because we just don't have the logs for it. I'm going to harvest a few more trees over there and over here. And that's probably... Yeah, there's some more chopping to be done here. That's good. Also, exploration is looking good. There's blueberry bushes. Hooray. We can use them right away to put them up to our farm. Because, of course, the more people join, the more food we need to produce. Oh, and while I'm doing this, there's also the warning that a blizzard is coming in. The temperatures are dropping as a severe winter storm approaches. Hopefully, your town is well stocked with firewood as colder temperatures require villagers to burn more wood. And we have 100 firewood available right now, but of course... It's probably all going to be consumed soon. The temperatures are dropping now by the second. And there it is coming, the snow. And basically death that will await us. Okay, it's not going to be that dramatic, hopefully, but still. It's getting cold out there. Um, I can still continue, of course, with getting my blueberry bushes over. If someone is actually eager to do this... We can then just continue with our little farm there. Um, and I should also plan the next building. So there's only the fishing shack now that already has the material. So this is going to be built once the winter break is over. Since, of course, they're going back to their homes now. And that is then the market. The market does require 30 um, planks. So it's going to take a quite some time before we can build this. But we should already lay it out. And the market is so important. It's one of the most central buildings for our village. As it is generating gold. We don't have gold yet. And we do need for defense and whatnot. Let's go ahead with the market. Um, there is a couple of locations I could have it. Over here would be very good. Because that will have a bigger radius than overall for more houses around it. We could also get it in here, right? This makes sense to me in two things. First of all, we can continue building houses here along the shore. And I like a shore village. And also we can protect it better. Because we will have our first defense structures up in this area, right? So I think the market in this area makes the most sense to me for now. However, we of course, nothing is set in stone. We can move these buildings then around again later on if we want to. But still, this makes the most sense for me for now. We also achieve, uh, uh, um, get all the, the houses here into its area. And with that, yeah, let's place it then here. Um, just in front of the of my town hall. Actually, we can move the well a bit. We should move the well anyway because we will need water then here in my industry area, right? And I can build a second well now. That we should do anyway. Better do it now than later. And they're very cheap, right? And let's build this well then here in in this new area that we have over there. So there's the, the next well. There you go. And then we have the room here for the market. Because I would like to have then houses here too. So this is going to be my, my city area then basically. What we can do is we can then also add more houses then in this area. Perfect. Winter break is over, so people get out again. Firewood is going down, but nothing too, too heavy there right now. Warmth is also fine. I think the blizzard is over. That was all very good. And the well is gone. So we can now add the market then right here in the center as well.
Hooray, my next fishing shack is ready as well. Let's assign it to this area. So this is going to be fishing area um, with 30% productivity up. So 130% productivity in total. Um, getting the fish out of that lake here. And we could then have another one here. And more over there. So for fish we should have quite enough. Oh, it's dark. Winter is so dark. Better get home to a warm fire and drink some beer. Oh wait, we don't have beer yet. But it's coming. It's coming. I'm doing my best here. Alright, I'm going to probably assign a second person to the saw pit now. After all, because Lox is actually going up a bit. And as we can see, we got four planks there right now. Processing these logs to make our first market. Alright, with the new year, a new settler joined. Lunara has arrived. That's one more, but we don't have a lot of space left anymore. And my food is still a pretty low, bit, bit, bit low here now. But that's, of course, understandable as we just had winter. So at the moment, we only have smoked fish and smoked meat in there. No fruits, no eggs, um, no, no, no raw fish or anything like that, right? So it's understandable that at the end of winter, um, the food supplies are a bit low. But nothing too severe what I can see there. There's one more blueberry bush. And then we have all of them over here in this area. And as we can see, there's food already coming in again. Very good. The market has all the stone already, so it's just waiting for the planks now. And since we have the locks and we do need housing, I would continue with a few more homes. So let's add two more homes then in this area. And I hope that I can build up here the hill. Yes, very good. Because there is actually a bit of a hill going up. But that's no problem. And that was quick. Those houses, there they are already. Um, behind it, I'm going to leave room for another decoration then again. Because we want to upgrade them, of course, to the next level. Right now, this ability is where? It's at 11% out of the 30. So they would not upgrade right now. But with some um, garden patches around it. And also then with the school and the pub, they will definitely want to upgrade. Um, one more thing that I can do right now is, and that is the problem with the waste. So waste is really accumulating now in these houses. Right, so 20 here, 27 here, um, and it's going to lead to a problem soon, especially then also sicknesses and diseases, and we don't want that. So I do need to have now a bit of uh, a room somewhere for a compost yard. But let's go ahead and do this. Wait, wait a second, there, let me build this. There we have it, compost yard. This one cost me four gold though, so we do need to wait for the market here to finish, and then I can go ahead with the compost yard. Look at that, right? So desirability is really, really problematic with this building here i'm going ahead of course and have it then here to my close to my firewood splitter and my smokehouse so that the ugly buildings are close together and don't disturb anyone else and then we can just have our our road here and it's also close enough to those homes right so we can lay out the foundation but the priority definitely lies here with the market so the, the gold that we generate will then be right or spent right into my compost yard. Ah, another villager joined. Very good. Welcome. 23 villagers we have. And another thing that I would like to do now here is what we can see with the hunter. We don't have any arrows anymore. I do need to get my arrows started. And for that we do have a building. Um, not the cobbler stone. There it is. The Fletcher building out of logs. It makes arrows and also bows. And we do need that. Another 20 planks it requires though. So yeah. We consume a lot of those things. Let's go ahead and build this one. There is also some other production buildings unlocked now, so we can make clothes then with uh, the height and water, right? Another very important building, also very bad for desirability, but pretty much mandatory. Let's have a look at my clothing. We don't have any cloth right now, and this is just really needed overall for my people. So let's go ahead and have the tannery. Very, very ugly building once more, um, and it should be close to a well so that we have the wealth in our construct in our um storage area right so that's what we can do there 
very good. And another building would be then the basket shop to so my villagers have baskets with them. They can carry more stuff, but that's for later. Oh, very good. Also, the market has been finished right here in the town center. And what I can do as well is I would like to continue then with some more homes right away because we do need more taxpayers and we do need more room in general. So I'm going ahead here with having it there and then here. I'm going to leave a bit of an area in between. And then we have this road that leads then over there and into my village. And then we can have more houses here and here. And this will all still be affected by the market. Oh god. We have some fighting here again. And this is a pretty harsh one. Ah, she's going to kill. Yeah, we lost the first villager there. Deceased villager. Oh my goodness, that is a pretty strong one. Kill him. All right. Unfortunately, one died. Lottie was killed. Oh no, it was Lottie actually, really. Uh, nothing I can do about this. I tried me best. Did we lose now Lottie where? I think she was in the forager area, right? Or she was the... Ah, she was the hunter, I think. Yeah. And Rocker took over. But that's that. Alright, since the market is finished, the planks can now be used in my other production buildings. So my compost yard here and my Fletcher building. And now we also have money, as we can see. So there is some income here. Eight coin we have right now per month. This leads uh, to raiders being attracted then by us because we have money all of a sudden. Not right now though, I think. I hope, at least. Let's see my defense structures here. So we can also see now, thanks to the latest updates, how much they cost and five gold, the lookout tower would be for us, right? And we can then easily squeeze it into these areas here and defend my first starting storage area. And yeah, since we do have the first dead person, we should work on a cemetery. And... By the lake. Is it best to have it by the lake, or should we have it towards the mountain? I think towards the mountain also makes sense. A nice hill cemetery that we could have up there. Let's go ahead and do this. Alright, the tannery has also been finished, so we can now make our own clothing. This will be very good for my villagers, as it is required, basically. It's a good item that they have. And then also the Fletcher building, very important for my hunters. And overall protection, of course, as also my defensive structures will need that. We are at 9 gold, so we can afford the compost yard now and the lookout tower. Three more villagers joined. And another villager was born, Camus. Over there. Is it in the same house? It's in the same house. So Luthar and Camus live together with Rollus. Unfortunately, I don't know how he was born, by the way, because I think Lottie was the wife here, right? Yeah. Might be the case. Strange things happening in my village. At least we got more villagers. That means more taxpayers as well, since they get supplied by my market. So there we can see also the market has stored, for example, some berries here right now, some herbs, some firewood, and the villagers can get it then from here directly, rather than going to the storage houses then. And the market trader is going then here to my food production buildings and getting those resources. 11 gold? That is despite having the compost yard? No, the compost yard is not consuming any money right now, as far as I can see. It is working though, so there is now someone going around collecting the dirt from the houses. All right, and with that, I really would like to have my first defensive tower then as well, the lookout tower. And we can have this one, yeah, probably somewhere here in the center. So this is then supervising 
all the buildings and it's also close to yeah basically all my important buildings right now also to my town hall to my market storehouse stockyard and to my food seller the root seller that we have how many unemployed people do we have eight right now very good so we have enough workforce All right, this one's coming close to completion. We have all the homes. We just need four more people and then we can upgrade our town hall. This one will require a significant amount of planks, but it is within reach. That's the good thing here. And also the lookout tower has all the resources and it's being built now. I can have another house here. Problem though is we have the iron deposit and I think the iron deposit goes all the way over there so I can still squeeze in a house just fine. Right, and then we can still have our, I mean, I don't have the building unlocked yet, but I'm pretty sure that we can still build it there. All right, and there it is. Coming up in the year two already, my look at tower. In all its glory, very expensive building. It does cost me the five here per monthly, so we are down to seven on the income. And it does need now someone, so Nodra is working on it. And she's getting equipped with bows and swords and arrows right away. Swords we don't have yet. So I think we do have some starting swords, is that right? Yes, we do have three starting swords. So she can actually be fully equipped in here, and she is now. Oh, and that is a warrior. <laughs> She's not ready for that. Yeah, and the Fletcher is also working now. And as we can see, bows and arrows are being produced then out of the logs that we have. Speaking about logs, do I still have trees here marked? Let's mark these trees there. Because whenever someone does not have any work to do, they can just go out there and chop down some trees and get us the resources. There's lots of stone here too. Very important to get this one in. as we're approaching the next winter. Oh my goodness, another villager was born and two more joined. So we are 29, one more we need for the upgrade. And also my cemetery here is being finished right now in the mountain up here. So this is a nice mountain cemetery. And here we can bury the dead right beside snow covered mountains as yeah, temperatures are dropping once more. Do I have some clothing by the way now? Yes, very good. Some six hide coats are in. And also still we have enough herbs. And also here, as we can see, the first bows and arrows appear again. Because we, they were already at zero. But now they're being produced. And we have ten months of food right now. That makes it nine because one is being spoiled. So nine months of food we have right now. And the coin is still positive. That's very important as the services are now also being in fact the compost yard. So this really drags it down to three coin per month that we consume. But yeah, right now we do have a functional village. If there's not a big attack coming, we should be fine for a little bit longer and we can just focus on expanding and building up a beautiful big town. And also upgrading now then my town center. Stay tuned. <laughs> 